Daffy Duck. Duck reads. Duck reads. D, d, d. Duck reads. D, d, d. Davy Duck plays his drum, drum, drum. Flying south, won't you? All come quack. One fall day, Daffy Duck was taking a walk. Daffy Duck was waddling down Daffodil Dock. Daffodil Dock was a nice place to live on Ducksburg Pond. In the spring, yellow daffodil flowers grew and bloomed all around the edges of Ducksburg Pond. Daffy Duck liked to waddle down the dock on the pond where he lived. Daffy Duck waddled to the edge of the dock and sat down. Daffy Duck dipped his orange webbed feet in the waters of Ducksburg Pond. Nearby in the water was a little girl turtle named Dee Dee. Dee Dee dragged herself out of the water. The water dripped and dribbled down Dee Dee's shell as she walked slowly down the dock. Dee Dee made a trail of little wet drops on Daffodil Dock. Hello, Daffy Duck, Dee Dee called. Oh, hello, Dee Dee, Daffy Duck quacked. I am a sad duck. How can you be sad on a day like today? It's a nice day, don't you think? Asked Dee Dee as she sat down beside Daffy Duck. The pond is cool and beautiful. I've just been for a swim. I love Ducksburg Pond, whispered Daffy Duck to the friendly little girl turtle. I love Daffodil Dock too. Daffodil Dock is a wonderful place to live, agreed Dee Dee. That is exactly why I feel sad today, quacked Daffy Duck. I love our nest in the tall weeds. I love living near the dock on the edge of Ducksburg Pond. I have lived here ever since I was hatched out of the egg, Daffy Duck told Dee Dee. I have been very happy here living in the north. Me too, agreed Dee Dee as she drew her four little legs into her shell. Then Daffy Duck said, but now, Daddy Duck and Mommy Duck have told me the news. Our family will be moving away soon. We will be flying to the south. Oh, Daffy Duck, I will miss you when you fly south, said Dee Dee sadly. I am glad I live in a shell, so I can always stay in the same house. Could I be happy in a different dock home? asked Daffy Duck. In a new pond, I don't think I could ever find good friends like you, Dee Dee. Then, all of a sudden, Daffy Duck shivered. Daffy Duck's white orange bill even chattered. A cold breeze was blowing. Daffy Duck looked around. Then Daffy Duck said, Ooh, The weather is getting colder every day. The whole world is looking sad. The yellow furry dandelions had turned to fluff long ago. The white summer daisies in the fields were all dried up. Even the grass had turned brown. Only a few dead brown leaves were on the trees. Daffy Duck leaned over the side of Daffodil Dock. Daffy Duck looked down into the pond. I see one big brown leaf floating in the pond. It looks like a little boat, exclaimed Dee Dee. Then 
The wind blew the little leaf boat away. Daffy Duck dropped some pebbles into the pond. Plop, plop, plop. Daffy Duck and Didi watched as the water made little waves. Then Daffy Duck saw something. Daffy Duck could see himself in the water. The pond was like a giant mirror. Daffy Duck and Didi made funny faces in the pond mirror. Daffy Duck could not help but laugh. Daffy Duck was smiling again. I feel better about everything, quacked Daffy Duck. I even feel better about moving away. Why Daddy Duck told me that this is part of God's plan for all ducks, Daffy Duck told Didi. Mommy Duck said it would be warmer where we are going. Daffy Duck loved warm weather. Daffy Duck knew that warm weather was best for ducks. Daddy Duck and Mommy Duck knew that moving away from Daffodil Duck was God's plan for the duck family. So, Daffy Duck decided he should not be sad about moving. It had never been this cold in Ducksburg Pond since Daffy Duck had been hatched. I have never been so cold in all my life, quacked Daffy Duck. It would be best to move where it will be warm again. I will not let my duck bill frown anymore, Daffy Duck told Didi. Good for you, Daffy Duck, said Didi. Keep your smile right side up. Daffy Duck and Didi looked out across the pond. Oh, Didi, what is that at the edge of the pond? Didi said, There is ice around the pond. It is too cold for me to stay outside. See you later. With that, Dee Dee ducked her head into her warm, cozy shell home. Daffy Duck decided to go back inside his dog house. Daffy Duck needed to get warm up. Daffy Duck needed to tell Daddy Duck and Mommy Duck that he was not sad now about moving. Daffy Duck dived off Daffodil Duck into Ducksburg's pond. Daffy Duck was a good diver. Daffy Duck would not drown. Why? Daffy Duck had learned how to swim when he was just a few days old. Daffy Duck remembered how Mommy Duck had taught him to swim long ago. She had taught him to swim right here in Ducksburg Pond. All the fuzzy ducklings had lined up behind Mommy Duck in the shallow end of the pond. The fuzzy yellow ducklings had been too tiny to swim in the deep water yet. Mommy Duck had told them just what to do. All together now, all together now, my duckling ducklings. Mommy Duck had said to the baby ducklings behind her, Paddle with your left foot, paddle with your right foot, left, right, left, right. Daddy Duck had quacked from the dock. Swim, duckling, swim. You can do it, my darling duckies. Yes, Daffy Duck was remembering lots of things as he paddled his white, webbed feet around the edge of Daffodil Duck. Soon, Daffy Duck paddled right up to his own doghouse ladder. Daffy Duck climbed up the ladder and opened the door with his wing. Inside the Duck family doghouse, it was cozy and warm. Daddy Duck had a nice fire going in the fireplace. Good smells were coming from Mommy Duck's kitchen. Daddy Duck and Mommy Duck were all excited. Daddy Duck and Mommy Duck were getting ready to move. Daffy Duck came in the dog house door. Oh, good, Daffy Duck, quacked Daddy Duck. I'm glad you are home. You must practice on your drum, Daffy Duck. Practice on my drum, asked Daffy Duck. Yes, Daffy Duck, you need to be all practiced up in the time for moving day, quacked Daddy Duck. All right, Daddy Duck, and Daffy Duck went to obey. 
As Davy Duck began to drum on his drum, he wondered and wondered. Why will I need my drum on our trip to a new dog pound? Drum dee dee drum drum, drum dee dee drum drum. I wonder why I'll need my drum.